Hey everyone, welcome back to NYC Innovates. I'm Chris Castellino. If you own an EV anywhere in the five boroughs, you know just how hard it is to find a charger. So for my last segment, I sat down with EV tech startup, It's Electric. They're putting curbside solutions all across the city. You don't wanna miss this. I head over to Brooklyn to meet with the founders. For many EV owners living in cities, finding a place to charge can be difficult. As vehicles with longer ranges come to market, lack of accessible charging is now a leading barrier deterring drivers from going electric. To incentivize growth in EV infrastructure, more cities are now turning to climate tech startups like It's Electric to revolutionize scalable energy solutions and decarbonize transportation. We bring convenient and affordable EV charging to the 40 million or so drivers in the US who don't have their own driveway or garage. When it came time to consider how cars could charge in cities, we figured out firsthand that it was impossible. It's Electric's curbside charging model is simple. Plug into your property. What's been happening to date is that EV charging companies do things in a very sort of old school sort of way. They connect their charger to that main power line in the street, the main utility line. And this takes a lot of time and costs a lot of money. We wanted to design a charger that was literally free. Every building in every city already has power at the right voltage ready to go. So we just put our charger in front of the building and we just siphon our power off of that building and then power that public charger. And to thank that building, we revenue share back with them. So they're earning thousands of dollars per year from a single charger, which is enough to offset their entire electric bills. The company recently announced a fresh $6.5 million seed funding led by Nordic Venture Capital Fund Failup and rideshare platform Uber to deploy chargers across seven U.S. cities this year. And with New York's Green Rides Initiative aligning with Uber's ambitions to eliminate gas-powered taxis by 2030, its electric believes now is the time to invest in charging deserts and deliver economic benefits across the city. In New York City, there's 80,000 rideshare drivers. The problem is, is that most rideshare drivers don't live in midtown Manhattan, where most chargers are. They live in Jackson Heights, Queens. It's the greatest population of rideshare drivers in the country. So we're working to put chargers in the ground, on the blocks, where drivers are able to come home after their shift, park their cars, plug in, wake up, come out in the morning, full battery. It's Electric's socket-based level two curbside charging ports provide faster charges at lower rates and can be installed in two days without any utility permits. After signing up free of cost, the company also supplies its members with portable detachable charging cables. In this country, we are gonna see thousands, if not tens of thousands of what are known as socket-based charging solutions in the next few years. And when you have that cable in your car, you are assured that your cable is compatible with your vehicle. Because the cost of installing a level two charger or a standard rate charger is so much less than the DC fast charging stations that you see along the highways. When you plug in and you charge with an its electric charger, it'll, it'll be convenient and it'll be more affordable than you having to drive to that DC fast charger. It's Electric received the green light from New York City's Economic Development Corporation to test proof of concept on city assets. They've also received over a million dollars in federal funding to begin installation in several U.S. markets, including Detroit and Boston. The founders hope these models will set the benchmark for public charging networks across the country. New York City has been a pioneer for curbside charging. Their pilot, which started around three years ago, has put now 100 charge points across curbs in the five boroughs. And they're looking to expand that now from 100 to 10,000 in six years. And so a lot of cities are watching New York and just seeing what's happening. Um, especially cities that are needing to also move with speed and scale, and particularly at Los Angeles, that will be hosting the Olympics in less than five years. So it's a lot of eyes that are happening right now on New York City. Well, that's it for today's episode of NYC Innovates. I hope you've enjoyed exploring some of New York's most exciting game changers. For Cheddar, I'm Chris Castellino. We'll catch you next time.